If the light from some space object took billions of years to get to us, then we see that object as it was billions of years ago. In this way, we can peer back in time and literally see the past in motion. The James Webb Space Telescope has just stunned astronomers with a discovery at the very edge of the observable universe. Scientists have identified a galaxy so incredibly distant that it's now challenging our understanding of cosmic history. Here's why this is mind-blowing. When we observe distant galaxies, we're actually looking back in time. Light takes time to travel across the vastness of space, so the farther away an object is, the older the snapshot we see. For example, observing something one light year away shows us how it looked one year ago. Push that distance to billions of light years, and we're seeing the universe as it appeared billions of years in the past. Using powerful telescopes, scientists have already observed regions of space over 13 billion light years away, helping to construct a standard model of cosmic history. According to this model, the universe's earliest epochs known as the Dark Ages were shrouded in hydrogen clouds long before stars or galaxies existed. We live in the Stelliferous Era. Somewhere between 10 and 1,000 billion trillion stars fill the observable universe with light. But there was a time before the first star ignited, a time we call the Cosmic Dark Ages. At the very beginning, cosmologists believe all matter and energy were compressed into a tiny, infinitely dense point called a singularity, the origin of the Big Bang. Current physics cannot fully describe this state, making it the ultimate limit of how far back we can peer in time. For decades, this framework suggested there was nothing before the Big Bang. But the James Webb Telescope is rewriting that story. Its early observations suggest that the universe we thought began with the Big Bang may actually have been preceded by a strange, earlier cosmos. This revelation has scientists reconsidering long-held assumptions about the very origins of everything. Before Webb, the most distant confirmed galaxy was GNZ 11. Yet Webb's early data has uncovered dozens of galaxies farther than anyone expected, with some pushing beyond Redshift 14, a distance thought previously impossible. Z stands for Redshift. You see, because the universe is expanding, light traveling through the universe over very long periods of time gets stretched out to longer and longer wavelengths, which consequently makes the light more red. That effect is known as cosmological red shift. These findings not only extend the known frontier of the universe, but also raise profound questions about the timeline of cosmic formation and whether the universe had a pre-Big Bang history. After careful spectroscopic tests, which precisely measure the distances of galaxies, the current record holders for the most distant confirmed galaxies are MOMSY-14, JADES GSZ-14, and JADES GSZ-13, with MOMSY-14 taking the lead at a redshift of 14.4. This means we see it as it was when the universe was only about 280 million years old. Yet, there are other candidates with redshifts as high as 16. If confirmed, these galaxies would push the limits of our standard cosmological models, which describe how the universe formed and evolved. Spectroscopic confirmation is still pending for these extreme cases. Here's the truly remarkable part. The deeper James Webb looks into the early universe, the more galaxies it finds. Each new observation seems to uncover galaxies farther away than ever recorded, continuously breaking previous distance records. Recent Webb data has revealed galaxies at redshifts between 17 and 20, taking us farther back in time than any galaxies previously observed. Even more astonishingly, the telescope has detected six galaxies at redshift. 17, 3 galaxies at redshifts, 24 and 25, an extraordinary galaxy at redshift, 32. A galaxy at redshift 32 would have existed roughly 98 million years after the Big Bang, a discovery that could seriously challenge standard cosmological models. According to astronomer Perez Gonzalez, these are the deepest observations Webb has ever made, deeper than anything before by a significant margin. If these galaxies truly exist at these distances, it implies the early universe was far more active in its first 200 million years than scientists previously thought. 
This contrasts sharply with the expectations from standard cosmology, which predicts that the first 100 million years after the Big Bang were a quiet, dark period, with no stars, no galaxies, and almost no light, a time known as the Cosmic Dark Age. If we look beyond, both in distance and in time, there is nothing. Darkness. For the hundred million years or so between the formation of the first atom and the formation of the first star, there was no light source in the universe. These were the cosmic dark ages. During this period, the universe was still cooling from the immense heat of the Big Bang while steadily expanding. Dark matter, which makes up the majority of the universe's mass, began to clump together under gravity, forming the seeds for future cosmic structures. At this stage, the cosmos was completely dark, with no stars or galaxies, just the building blocks quietly assembling in the void. Yet the James Webb Space Telescope is revealing a very different picture. It has detected well-formed galaxies in this early era, and even more astonishingly, galaxies exist beyond this region. The recent discovery of a galaxy at Redshift 32, just 98 million years after the Big Bang, is shaking the foundations of cosmology. If these objects truly exist, our standard cosmological models struggle to explain them. According to current theories, the universe couldn't have produced stars and galaxies so quickly after its formation. Some of these early galaxies are far too massive, containing more stars than the universe could have physically assembled in that short time. Simply put, there isn't enough ordinary matter to account for such enormous structures so early in cosmic history. Adding to the mystery, scientists have uncovered the first evidence of a primordial black hole. Nobel Prize winning researchers suggest this may be the strongest evidence yet that a universe existed before our own. Physicist Roger Penrose had long theorized that our universe might not be the first, and these findings may finally provide observational support for that bold idea. Roger Penrose proposed that the universe operates in cycles, where one universe gradually fades and a new one is born. In his framework, the radiation left behind by black holes in a previous universe carries information forward, becoming part of the next cosmic cycle. In this view, the Big Bang wasn't truly the beginning of everything, it was merely the start of our current cycle. Building on this idea, recent research on information wells and primordial black holes in a cyclic quantum universe takes the concept even further. Instead of a single, unique Big Bang, the universe may expand, contract, and bounce back repeatedly. During each cosmic bounce, leftover information from the old universe doesn't disappear. It leaves behind imprints known as information wells, which could act as seeds for the formation of primordial black holes, tiny, incredibly dense objects that appear very early in cosmic history. If these black holes exist, they could essentially be fossils from a universe that preceded ours. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently identified possible candidates for such primordial black holes in the early universe. Unlike the supermassive black holes we see in galaxies today, these are much smaller, older, and formed at the dawn of time. Their presence is puzzling under the standard Big Bang model, which suggests there shouldn't have been enough time for black holes to form so early. But within cyclic universe models, these primordial black holes could be born from the remnants of a previous universe, carried through the cosmic bounce into ours. In this sense, the black holes Webb has observed might not be random anomalies, they could be direct evidence of an ancient universe that existed before our own. These discoveries could be pointing to something far larger and more profound than we've ever imagined. The deeper we probe the cosmos, the more complex and mysterious it becomes. Are we missing a critical piece in our standard cosmological models? Could our understanding of the universe's origin be completely off? Did other universes exist before ours? Is the universe eternal with no true beginning or end? These are the questions driving scientists to explore bold new ideas and revolutionary theories in the quest to uncover the universe's deepest secrets. The search for answers has never been more thrilling, and each discovery pushes the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thanks to our channel members for their continued support. See you in the next video.